at 35 here and of course the Knicks know how you can get caught up in that emotion in a contentious series uh, some of the Knicks were suspended for leaving the bench during a fight in their series against Miami a couple of years ago but as we've seen the Knicks over the last couple of years I think they've moved beyond uh, that stage in their career you don't ever really see the the threat of violence on the on the verge of explosion anymore Alan Houston attacking Reggie Miller again now beautiful shot Houston pulling up with that soft jumper he has 13 he's outscored Miller 13 to 5 in their individual matchup and Reggie has not been looking at the rim that much so you you can expect some offensive energy to come from him uh, before this game is over possibly toward the end of this half well, here's Dale Davis and he scores in tight so the post up game with Smiths and Davis paying big dividends for Indiana Indiana's game plan is to use that size and to punish the Knicks for being small and with Dudley having to take uh, full and responsibility for Rick Smith's no ability to help from the weak side Childs for three just missed <laughs> Inside two minutes, first half. Looking for Jalen Rose against a smaller child. And Childs anticipates the pass. Here's Freewell to Houston. Exactly what the New York Knicks need. Chris Childs has provided a terrific spark defensively, taking the charge on Travis Best. Then he comes up with a steal. Igniting fast break opportunities. Dudley, though, with the foul away from the ball, denying Rick Smith's inside. And the third foul on Dudley. Uh, this is good overplay, and it's just a slow pass. And you watch Child just step up and make the play. And uh, now they got an easy transition opportunity going because of it. Dudley to the bench as you look from another angle as Sprewell feeds Houston for the jam. Dudley to the bench, replaced by Kurt Thomas. Chris with three fouls. Yeah, Dudley picked up another one, trying to stay in front of Rick Smith and um, impeding his progress all the way. Jalen Rose has to learn how to get better when they start denying him the position that he wants. Jackson for three. Mark Jackson with a shot clock ticking down, hits a clutch three-pointer, his first basket of the game, and with a minute left, the Pacers have their first lead since they are up 5-4. Oh, nice split. Freewell gets the soft roll, and he puts New York back on top by one. Freewell's got the bounce to his step. If they can feed off of him and Ch Child's defensive energy, they've got a real chance. Jalen Rose, backing in on Child. He hurts him when he does this. You know, when he starts backing in, they don't have an answer for stopping him. Houston has problems with him. Sprewell does, and certainly Childs is going to simply because he's so much bigger. Jalen Rose on the line. And that's what Van Gundy said, is that Jalen Rose in the post up, Reggie Miller along the baseline. Those are the two things we have to deny them. If we can take the Pacers' stars out of their game, then that greatly improves our chances of winning. Tomorrow night, a great lineup headed your way, starting with the No Limits Game Show 21, followed by Dateline NBC. Then George C. Scott and Jack Lemon star in the Sunday night movie event, Inherit the Wind. All tomorrow night, starting at 7, 6 Central on NBC. Rose connects, and Indiana leads 42-41. Certainly, you mentioned, Bill, that... Houston and Sprewell had to deliver. They've done so in the first half. Sprewell with 14, Houston with 15. Here's Luttrell missing that shot. Miller chases it down for Indiana. Play for one if you're the Pacers right now. You've got the lead. Keep the crowd out of it. Speaking of crowds, you know, the crowd in Indiana was just at a fever pitch for both ball games, and you've only seen it sporadically here from the Knicks fans. They had little to cheer about. Rose blocked by Thomas as the first half comes to an end. Jalen Rose and the Indiana Pacers 
trailing by as many as nine, come back to take the halftime lead thanks to the offense. 21 points by Rick Smith. Let's go to Jim Gray. All right, thank you very much. First, the update on Marcus Camby. He is being re-examined right now. They're icing his knee. We'll have more at the end of the half. Rick Smith, a great half for you, 21 points. Do you feel as though with Ewing out and now Camby out that you guys have to swoop in for the kill here in the second half and go up 3-0? Yeah, definitely. Uh, they've been doing a tremendous job uh, countering every shot we make. Uh, it's been uh, pretty much uh, exchange up and down the court every time. Uh, you know, we really got to try to get uh, build up a little lead. What has caused you to be so much more aggressive tonight and, and, and so active? Uh, well, I just got off to a good start, and the guys just kept going to me. Uh, you know, normally I don't even play in the second quarter, and coach let me in there, and I was able to, uh, to get some good position down low. All right, Rick, thank you. Good luck in the second half. Thank you. All right, Tom, back over to you. Okay, Jim, as you can see, Rick Smith's with half his team's total, 21 of their 42 points, and Indiana leading New York by one, 42-41. Now stay tuned for Net Zero at the half. Coming up after these messages, you're watching the NBA on NBA.